Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another story on record to play for you. Today's story is the Lone Ranger Stampede for 1978. So let's see what this sounds like. It was a clear moonlit night on the plains of northern Colorado. Tonto and I had been riding hard all day. And as evening fell, we spied a glowing campfire and smelled good brewing coffee. We drew rein and said howdy to the young cowhand who sat beside the glowing embers. He was a friendly sort, generous to a fault. And he invited us to sit and share coffee and grub with him. He was from Laredo, and his name was Tex. And he had a tuneful guitar and a mighty fine voice. That sure soothes the heart, Tex. Thank you. When the cones of darkness descend, music is a light to see by. Thank you, gents. And more coffee? Don't mind if I do. How many head of cattle are you tending here, Tex? About a hundred. It's a small ranch. What name it go by? The Lazy Horseshoe. Good name for ranch. I like. Owned by Cal Peters and his daughter Linda. Nice folks. How far away is the Lazy Horseshoe? About five miles. Grazing aid is good closer. This open range? Yep. Now, I was telling Miss Linda about that only a few days ago. Rustlers. Oh, they made rustlers. They're stampeding the herd again. Who? Uh, renegade Indians. Let's go. Out there to the east. Up, scout. Right, Silver. Trying to halt and turn a stampede of a hundred head of cattle at night is no mean job. You want a good horse under you, a reliable partner who won't stumble or lose his head. We used our guns, our hats, our voices, every conceivable trick we knew with a horse. Luckily, the moon was bright, so things stood out and we could maneuver and dodge the thundering herd. Off in the distance, I could see a small band of Indians disappearing over our rides. They were too far away to give chase, and we had our hands full with the herd. Slowly, we got them under control, and finally we had turned them around. They were docile now, but we had to be careful. A young cowboy. He is hurting. Tex. My legs. Help me, will you? Help me. Tex had been thrown and run over by the herd. One of his legs was broken and the other didn't look too good. We put a split on the broken leg and in the morning tied him over his horse and started the slow drive back to the lazy horseshoe. Once there, a doctor was called and while we waited for him, we had a powwow with the owners of the ranch, Cal Peters and his daughter Linda. Indian? You saw them? No, I sure did, Mr. Peters. I'll back that up. Saw them myself. Haven't been any Indians in these parts for years. But they're Cheyenne, I tell you. That's the second time they stampeded your herd in a month. No Cheyenne. No Indian. Why, Tonto? No Cheyenne use rope like this. No Indian ride with spur like this. Where'd you find these, Tonto? Where cattle stampede. He's right. They weren't Indians. Then who did it? Who would want to stampede your cattle, Miss Peters? Matt Matthews. Now, we have no proof that, Linda. Well, who do you think's doing it, Dad? You know what he thinks about us and about the rangeland down there. Who's Matt Matthews? Owns a spread up north of us. The Big M, he calls it. He owns most of the land to the east and west, too. But he wants more. Always wants more and more. That's Matt Matthews. Wants everything. Been trying to scare us off our land for two years. He stampede your cattle on open range? Matt Matthews will do anything to drive us off so he can graze his own herds down there. What do you think, Tex? I saw Indians. You haven't been in these parts long enough, Tex. If there are any Indians at all, they're perfectly friendly. Miss Linda, I saw Indians, and I'm telling you... When are you going to stop calling me Miss Linda? Miss, uh, uh Peters. The name's Linda, Tex. <clears throat> uh, what do you think, Mr. Peters? I'm thinking I'm gonna lose me a daughter pretty soon. Oh, you mean about Matt Matthews? Well, I wouldn't put it past him. Look, Mr. Peters, I suspect Tex here is going to be laid up for some time yet. Since you're shorthanded, how about taking Tonto and me on the ride range for a while? Well, that's mighty kind of you. Uh, no need to pay us twice. We'll act as one man. Right, Tonto? Great, Kimisabi. You play us a song on guitar, Tex? I'm oh, glad to, Tonto. Just let me get my guitar. <laughs> Very. A 
few nights later, with a moon high and almost full, Tonto and I were staked out at Longhorn Canyon. Earlier in the day, we'd led the Peterson herd through to the grazing land. They were happy and quiet, and we knew they'd stay put. As dark descended, we cut a tree and laid the heavy trunk across the south end of the canyon. Now, up on the north end, we had another trunk ready to be lowered by rope, and we were waiting. Maybe they not come tonight. Very cold. Then we wait the next night, and the next. You patient men, Kimisebi. Me, just cold. Sounds like things might warm up, Tonto. Listen. They swept into the canyon like a whirlwind, riding hard, whooping like Indians. Their feathered headdresses flew in the wind, their upraised arms brandishing rifles. They sure look like Cheyenne. Self-respecting Cheyenne might settle and wear spurs. We'll soon know. They're reaching the tree at the end, Tonto. So that was the Lone Ranger Stampede for 1978. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We have another video coming out real soon.